These icons are painted on the boards from wooden ammunition boxes. The authors of the project, Oleksandr Klemenko and Sofia Atlantova, brought the pieces all the way from the front line in the east of Ukraine. The idea to portray saints on such canvases came to Oleksandr during one of his trips to the Donbass conflict zone. The transformation of death into life, where death is a box for cartridges and life is an icon. It was on a symbolic level, but then it became real. Indeed, life wins over death, since the money we raise at our exhibitions goes to the needs of the first voluntary mobile hospital, the largest medical volunteer organization that saves lives in Donbass. The art project has been underway for three and a half years. During this time, the icons have gone on display in 30 cities across Europe and America. About 115,000 U.S. dollars have already been collected. At this particular event, artworks worth 600 to 3,000 U.S. dollars are being sold. The raised funds will be spent on the purchase of an ambulance vehicle. Our goal today is standing here near the embassy. This is an ambulance car produced according to German technologies. It is a used car but in good condition. It doesn't belong to us yet, but if we manage to gain $15,000 today, we will buy it. So anyone who buys one of these icons today will contribute to having another ambulance driving around Donbass, saving people's lives. This is the first time such an exhibition is being held at the Lithuanian embassy. The Lithuanian ambassador already owns two icons made by Alexander and Sofia. Volunteer doctors have contributed to protecting Ukraine in this war just as much as volunteer soldiers. They help both military and civilians. Lithuania accepts Ukrainian soldiers for rehabilitation. But we should not forget about those who fight for this country in the ranks of medical staff. They also need support. Next, the exhibition of icons on ammunition boxes will go to Canada. The artists plan to display their project in many more countries and continue saving lives on the front line.